Hi everyone! In this episode of One Step Closer to Knowing Blender, I want to show you five basic methods of making a selection in geometry nodes. As an example, let's make a selection of faces on a default cube, with geometry nodes applied to it. Inside the geometry nodes, I'm going to add subdivision surface node with a few subdivisions. followed by separate geometry with faces selected as domain. For the selected part, I'm going to extrude faces and apply material with red color. For the inverted part, I'll just apply material with green color. Join everything back together with Join Geometry and Merge by Distance nodes to end up with a single solid mesh. In this basic node setup, let's specify selected faces through the selection input of separate geometry node with these five basic methods. Method 1. Random value. Add a random value node. In the drop-down, select Boolean data type, which will give us true or false output. Plug the output of the node into the selection socket right here. True or false value is going to be assigned to each face of the geometry which is going to define the selection. Adjust the selection with a probability slider and seed value to find the best result. Method 2. Texture-based Blender has a decent set of built-in procedural textures, as well as an ability to add external images. Since Geometry Nodes also supports these textures, why don't we use them to define the selection? For instance, let's add Voronoi texture and plug its distance output into the selection. Add a color ramp in between to convert color information of a Voronoi texture into black and white colors, which can be also interpreted as 0 and 1 or true and false. Even though linear interpolation can be used here, we can switch to constant to get more precision in the end result. Use the color sliders to tweak the intensity of the texture as well as textures, parameters, if there are any available. Combine different textures with the Mix RGB node for more specific and interesting results. Like this one, where we subtract Wave texture from Voronoi texture. Method 3. Normal based. Often, you may want to make a selection based on the normal orientation of the face. So add normal input node. Since normal is a vector and consists of X, Y and Z axes, use separate X, Y, Z node to work with each axis individually. Now, for example, we can take X value and compare it against some other value, which can be in range from minus 1 to 1, which are two opposite directions. To combine comparisons of other two axes, use Combine XYZ node. And to make more complex calculations on each axis, use Math node. Like in this example, where I want to select faces when their X direction is less than minus 0.2 and greater than 0.2. Method 4. Position-based. A very similar method to the previous one, only instead of normal orientation, let's use object's position. Add a position input node and separate its X, Y and Z. Use compare node to compare axis values against your custom values. 
Combine these comparisons with Combine XYZ. And use math nodes to make more complex calculations to define your target position. Important note here, make sure to take the object's origin point and dimension into account when specifying the selection. Method 5. By Index Since each face, edge, and vertex has its own index, you may want to be more precise in specifying the selection. So in case you know the order of the faces in this case, you may compare index or even ID against your custom integer value to calculate the selection. The best way to get the most of this method is to use it on mesh built within geometry nodes like this grid right here. Alright, thank you so much for watching. These were 5 basic methods of making a selection in geometry nodes. I hope you learned something new today and I will see you in the next video. Take care, bye bye.